So, the college that Michael Jordan went to, North Carolina, they obviously had a, they have a pretty decent basketball team. They're one of those college basketball teams. I don't know anything about their football team. They're one of those basketball teams where they're on and off. You know, they're, they're like, really good. And then, like, three years later, and they're, like, oh and 8 for their basketball team. Keep in mind, these are the only football cards I have. I have some hockey cards, and I do want to get some basketball cards. I mean, I already have a ton. Some baseball cards. Um... Let's start off with the only name I do recognize, NFL legend, Lawrence Taylor. Uh, and North Carolina, actually, there is some basketball cards of them. Where did I put it? Right here. And I did get Michael Jordan. You know, I do recognize some of these guys' names, like um, Bobby Jones, Sam Perkins, for the basketball Joe Wolf, um, but these cards are probably my oldest cards, because the majority of them are in black and white, so Lawrence Taylor, and their team name is the Tar Heels, the North Carolina Tar Heels, um, Here's his stats, if you want to pause and look at that. I hope it's not backwards, because... And some didn't even have stats, like the Joe Bunting card. If you turn it, it would just have a little description about him. One of Carolina's biggest defensive stars of the early seven, 1970s was Joe Bunting, a dynamic linebacker who helped lead the Tar Heels back-to-back -back bowl games. Bunting was a three-year starter who seemingly made big plays every Saturday. He was spectacular as a senior as Carolina drove 9-2 to record and spot opposite Georgia in the Gator Bowl. Bunting was an all-ACC selection and had a lengthy pro career with the Philadelphia Eagles. Don McCauley. Um, I'm not going to read all these. I'm sorry. But, you know, they're very long. If you want to pause and read it, be my guest. Uh, now this one actually has stats. Mr. Kelvin Bryant. Um, he had 40 in 1970. He not 1979. He had 42 rushes. He ran 149 yards. Um, he had one touchdown. And then in 1980, he rushed 177 yard, 177. He had 177 rushes, I believe. 100 and 1,000. He ran 1,039 yards. He had 11 touchdowns, and he averaged 190, no, that's probably wrong. Um, 1981, he rushed 152 yards. He, or he rushed, and he ran 1,015 yards, and he had a 17 touchdowns. In uh, 1982, he had 228 rushes, um, 1,064. He ran 1,064 yards and three touchdowns. I got some more here. Here, let me just get this one out of the way. It's uh, it's their stadium, the Keenan Kennan Stadium. Pretty decent for uh, college football. Anyways, this guy, Bob Loomis, he kind of looks like a douchebag, but I mean, I'm not going to read the stats. There you go. He's probably dead now, but 
Actually, no, he's probably really old. Like, most of these guys are in their 60s. No. Ken Willard. He looked like a real serious guy. There. If you want to read that. None of you guys are probably going to read it, but I think this guy was a coach. Yeah. I think. No. So the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. I guess that'd just be sports in North Carolina. So, like, the Panther, the Carolina Panthers, the NFL team, the Charlotte Hornets, this, um, the North Carolina College, um, they don't have a hockey team. Carolina Hurricanes, I'm sorry. So Carolina Hurricanes, and they don't have a baseball team. So, yeah, I mean, I guess he made it into the... Do they have a Colorado Sports Hall of Fame where it'd have like the Nuggets? Um, sorry, I, I'm i just kind of tired. Uh, would it have like the Nuggets, Broncos, Rockies, Avalanche, and like the Buffaloes or the college team? I don't know. Ken Powell. They did his stats. Wow, this guy was back in the 40s. That's when they didn't even wear helmets. Like, come on, NFL players. And, like, I, I can agree the game is a lot more soft. But, I mean, there's still a lot of concussions. Um, but, you know, the softest sport is NBA. But, I mean, I did. Like, why did they have to soften the game so much? Um, you know, you actually get fouled if you, like, slightly touch. If you're, if you're defending and you slightly touch the offenseman. Anyways, his stats. Um, I don't really know what CGT is because I'm still learning about football because of my daddy's teaching me. Uh, let's see. Jimmy Jerome. This guy looks... Early 70s. Here's his card. He rushed 11 yards. He ran 100. He ran 66 yards. He only had one touchdown in his entire North Carolina career. He's a wing back. Uh oh. My phone's going to die soon, so let me plug it in there because I'm recording on my phone because uh oh see this is what my charger does so I'm gonna have to like put it on my lap here oh my god this is terrible I'm trying to be as careful as I can Lou Angelo he played in the early 70s I'll read his stats he had five interceptions in 1970, and he ran 36 yards. And also, his whole career, he had no touchdowns. 1971, he had three interceptions. Uh, he ran six yards. And then 1972, he ran, or he ran 72 yards and had eight interceptions. Doesn't really, doesn't say what team he... Even though this was made in the 90s. This card. Whatever. Uh, Mike Salzano. Kind of also. There's a little thing you can read. Ricky, Bar Ricky Barton. I'll read off his stats. Wow, he his first night in 1977, he sucked. He only had three interceptions, and that's it. That's all he did. That's it. Um, 1978, he had zero sacks, four interceptions, 
one PBU. Oh, I think this guy was a punter. No, he couldn't have because he had sacks. Yeah. Uh, here, I don't really know what those stats mean, seriously. And then this one, it also has a little description on the end. And like, uh, I'm sorry. Ugh, now it looks awful. Chris Kupec, Kupec, probably Kupec. He played in the early 70s, um, 1972. He rushed 10 yards, or he he ran 10 yards and he rushed 15. And then he had z he had zero touchdowns except for his last season where he had nine. He rushed three yards and and or he rushed three and he ran 10 yards again and his percentage was a uh, 500 um and then 1974 his best season he uh, rushed 72 yards and he ran 109 yards and he had nine total touchdowns so um pretty crisp oh he was in quarterback that's why Ron Wooten, the last guy here. So yeah, I mean, this is the last video I'll make in, I mean, today, about this. He went to the Patriots, got drafted, and this was the, like, early 80s. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, those are all the football cards I have. I do, maybe like sometime this Christmas, I don't know. Um, why do I have this in my room? Do you know those little, like, clip-ons? They use for like bags. Why do I have one in my room? Oh, I know. Because I had to use it for a game. Anyways, uh yeah, I'm gonna make a video on hockey cards. Um I think there's only like two brands, really, because hockey cards weren't that popular. Anyways, uh peace out.